All right, so welcome back. Hope you're having a, uh, a fabulous day here today. I did want to talk about this because we are approaching that time where you might want to know, and I wanted to give it a little bit of time before the banner does release and just give you this uh, notice, this alert, this, um, hear me out, all right? It's, it's a little bit important. So with it, we currently have Sakura. She's leaving in a day in 17 hours. Make your decision if you want this character. If you want her, go for it. If you don't want her, don't go for it. She'll help you with train. That is what she's designed for. Again, good character in the future. She can also get better as other bosses or content releases where she is tied into it. Good, good. Now, there's two more banners coming soon. Basically, this next update, which you should know about, why it might be the better idea to not summon on them at all. Skip Sakura, skip them, and just hear me out. Don't get mad. You might love D, but just take this in the back of your head. You do what you want. It's a waifu game. Summon for your waifu. I'm just alerting you that if you care, this may be something to keep an eye out for. Let me talk about it. And also, like and subscribe. Helps out a ton. Thank you for all the support. You are awesome. So, the next banner is D. D is another boss killer. D is very good, and D is really cool. That sounded mad wrong, but let's continue. Yes, good character. Good everything. Um, with this, she will be very helpful, but you don't need her. You really don't. The coat is there, which already turns a lot of people away from the character. That is true. Um, it's Nick A. You understand that 50% of the characters have a coat, and 50% of the characters, um, don't, I guess. I had a joke coming, but it lost. So, there we go. We have D. We also have this, which is Alice. These are the two characters that we're dropping. Again, we already have Alice in the game. There is no real need to go for the character unless you want a crazy DPS, or you want Alice, because you want Alice. You want to go and crack 160. That is there. I do recommend not to summon for these two banners, and hear me out. Calm down. Just, just listen out, all right? The reason is, this is happening really soon. They already scheduled the stream. They've already started all of that. We already know when this stream is going to kick off, and we know that they're going to announce something big, right? They literally have dropped so much marketing saying, oh, be ready. Six month anniversary. We got something special. Stay tuned for it, right? They did it very early. They did so many announcements across the board. I would wait, and I would just think things through. Just think in the back of your head i i know you might love these two characters you might need these two characters right but this is a chance okay for something really kind of big just know nikkei does not stream if you have you seen a nikkei stream most likely the answer is no or you watched the one stream that they had which was this right here the first one which mostly i think everybody watched given it 164,000 views this was when they uh launched the game they did a promotion thing and they announced some things, gave you some ideas, dropped some gift codes that expired in 20 seconds. That's about it. That's what they did there. Um, and that's how it went, right? You then had this one, which is the one prior to it. I think that gave an idea of the release date and what they plan and how the game is going to drop. That's what happened there. This one was like streamers and content creators and stuff like that. And they had a chance or I don't know who it was, but people, okay, not like the devs, but people uh, showed up and they streamed. So that's what that was. So you can clearly see they rarely stream. And if they are streaming here, they might be announcing something pretty decent and pretty worthwhile. So again, we don't at this moment know what they're announcing. We don't. Uh, we do know like some gotcha games. If you don't already know, um, like the cast gives away what's releasing. The cast here doesn't really do that because the cast is Isabel, Mihara, Snow White, apparently a cosplayer, and then the other person, which I'm pretty sure just shows up every stream. So there's something special there. He just shows up every stream. So. That's that, right? But that is what it currently looks like in the cast. The cast doesn't give you any idea or any indication of what's happening and what they're doing. Mihara, Isabel, Snow White, don't really think we can get anything from that. So with it, they might have just picked some random characters or people that were open for it and just said, hey, you got a stream? Announce some stuff for us. So that happened, but um, that's what's happening, right? So in 10 days on 421, they're going to be doing a stream. They're going to announce stuff for the half anniversary. In this stream, they can give you an idea if there's a pilgrim. They can give you an idea if there's a limited banner unit. They can give you an idea of so much stuff. So I would, again, just recommend probably looking away from the two banners. Um, because, again, if it is a pilgrim, you know, most of the time you have to summon for them. They are pretty good. If it's a collab, if you care for that, could potentially be one. I doubt it. I fully doubt it. Though people are saying that it is a collab, apparently. No, it's not. I don't think so. Um, people are pushing leaks. Yes, there are some leaks that are flowing. I don't trust them at all because the people that I, you know, see the leaks from regularly have not made a statement on it. So I'm not going to share that leak yet because uh, it's, I think, fully incorrect. But if that is true, I'm going to be, so just as the only hint I'm going to give, I'm going to be utterly disappointed. If the leak that is true, I'll be so disappointed. I will not even make a video on it. I'll be that disappointed. All right. So whatever, whatever it is, just. If that happens, I'll uninstall, 100%. No way that's going to happen. But let's see. So with it, 
yes, these two characters are really saying I'd skip them. Yes, Alice is really good. Yes, she's a great DPS. Yes, she's like everyone's kind of favorite character. Yes, she can help you crack 160. Make that decision. If you just want to wait, I'm not saying you not to summon, just wait. Wait 11 days, wait and see. Um, by the time they're supposed to announce the next banner, it's basically, that's how it works always. Um, it's around Friday, Saturday, Sunday of the ending week of a, of a banner is when they start to announce the next one. So for example, D will drop this Wednesday, which is the 12th. On around the 21st, 22nd, 23rd, you'll have an idea what the next banner is. As always, as the drip marketing or teasers start to roll out or whatever, that's what happens. The stream does kick off on the 21st, so there is a chance. That is when you actually find out about the banner itself. So boom, there is a lot of potential to announce something on that stream that is character related, because it is around that time they choose to give out um, announcements and stuff like that. So again, it's only 10 days. I'm only telling you, recommending you to wait 10 days just because there could be something big. Um, but again, if you want D, you want Alice, go for it. You want Sakura, go for it, do what you want. I am just recommending nothing more, nothing less. Could be something good. It could also be something bad. People are speculating like SSR Rappi over here. People are speculating like SSR Neon or stuff like that. Um, people are speculating summer stuff. It's all over the place. Right now, nobody has a concrete thing. If that leak is concrete, what the hell? But we can't tell, okay? So with it, yeah, that's all we know. That's all we know. And yes, this is going everywhere saying something big is coming soon. Again, we don't know what that something big is, but the last time they hyped something up like this was Chainsaw Man. Again, they didn't stream for Chainsaw Man, yes, but I don't know what it is. There is just, it's hype up. That's all I know. This could suck for all I know. This could really suck, all right? So don't make, like, don't say, oh, he's saying it's gonna be 100% hyped. They are saying it's something big. So it could be something big or it could be utter garbage. I can't tell, but it's always good to be safe in life. You know what I mean? Kind of. And again, another just quick point, as always with these characters, you do not have to summon for them day one or ever rather, because they get put on the main banner, right? Sakura can get put to the main banner, as you will already mentioned. D should, as always, get put to the main banner. You just wishlist them and just pull them in the future. Yes, they are good. So if it's a character you need to pull and like can really save you, do it. But usually you pull for pilgrims, that's the idea. But again, if D is someone you're looking for, if Alice is someone you're looking for, if Sakura is someone you're looking for, go for it. I would also recommend that if you are currently dumping gems into the main banner, stop. 160 can wait for a little bit, all right? Save those gems, save those summons. You can spend these, I'm not gonna stop you, but save those gems right now. Do not spend those gems on the main banner. Wait on cracking 160 because this upcoming banner could be big. I'm not saying that it is going to be big, but it could be. It's rare for Nick A to stream. They're streaming a half anniversary event. They've been hyping it up with drip, uh, drip marketing. They've been hyping it up all over the place saying, oh, something big is coming soon. Be ready for it and be there on the stream on this date, on this time and see greatness and like stuff like that, right? So potential is there, but again, keep expectations low also. Who knows? We might get nothing. <laughs> we might, all right? Look at what happened. Uh, there's uh, the famous Genshin story and the famous anniversary story across like 30 different gotch games that got absolutely shafted for an anniversary. We could be the same. We could be the 31st gotch game to get shafted on an anniversary. Let's see, there is potential for it, but who knows, okay? Keep expectations low and keep gems safe. That's my 10 cents, who knows?